What is up, Hoka Ninjas? I am excited to open this booster box. Hopefully, we can get us a Starlight Rare out of this. Uh, I don't, not really sure what Ultra Rares are good. I think there's a Ken Rear or something. Fin Rear. Fin Rear is a good Ultra to pull out of this box. Uh, I'm not really sure what other ones are they're available, but we're just kind of going to go into this box. Hopefully, we can get a Starlight Rare. So, that's the main goal here. I think we'll just kind of go straight into her. Fusion Destiny, I think that's a good card, so we'll set that one aside. I have to... I just looked up these uh, cards, but I've already forgot everything, so... Crystal Beast, Pofam Apple, Twin Lilla, that might be good too. DD Crow, I'm not sure if that's worth anything. I know DD Crow was valuable, but it's Yu-Gi-Oh! They reprint so much, so... Wouldn't surprise me if it lost value because of that. Okay, Advanced Crystal Beast. I don't think there's a lot of those that are valuable. But we'll pull it out just to pull it out. Yeah, I, I haven't opened much of this set yet. And I really hope to open more because... I kind of want to get the Exodia uh, Starlight Rares as a set. So I'm really hoping to get that. But we're going to have to open a lot of this to even get to that... Uh, goal so hopefully we can uh get our hands on quite a bit of this and it doesn't go up in value too fast i don't think right now it's uh worth a whole lot so we'll probably uh open a couple booster boxes maybe we'll see if we can get our hands on some loose packs we're going to have to open a lot of booster boxes, to be fair, if we're going to pull any of the heads, or any of the pieces to Exodia, so. Ooh, nice. Toon Black Luster Soldier. I like that. That's a pretty cool looking card. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's the, the Toon cards. If I was going to make a deck, I'd probably make a Toon deck. It's something about the characters. It just looks cool. Speaking of, we got Toon Terror. I mean, whether it's playable or not, I don't know. Um, but I don't really care. I think it'd be fun to just have that as a deck to play if I ever did play Yu-Gi-Oh! again. I used to play, but I just haven't really tried it since, I don't know, Synchros? The last real deck I think I built was a Six Samurai deck, so... If I was going to, uh, build a deck... I think Toon would be the one. Alright, let's see. Okay. Really hoping we pull... I think that... I think Fenrir's in this. Maybe I'm wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know if Fenrir's in this set or not. Okay, I don't remember now. That's how little I open uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! But this is fun. I like opening uh, booster boxes. I don't think there's any better way to open cards than a booster box. I wish I could have done this as a kid. I think it would have been so fun to open a base set booster box of Pokemon cards or something like that. Or like a Legend of Blue Eyes booster box. Oh, if I could go back to then... Not sure if we're going to get value back on this box or not. Obviously, if we hit a Starlight Rare, we will definitely do that. I don't know if those DD Crows are worth anything, but we'll pull them out. Nice Toon Harpy Lady and a Mammoth. But hopefully we can get there. If, I, if I'm if i right about Fenrir being in this set, then if we hit one of those, we'll definitely uh, get our value. I don't think it's in this set because it's definitely not. What set was that? Was it Darkling Blast, maybe? I think that's what it was. So, there's no Fenrir that I'm going to pull out of here. Because it's an Ultra Rare. Rainbow Bridge. Chaos Space. That's a really cool looking secret. I don't know how I feel about secrets being in every pack. 
I know it's not every set that they do that, but still. Gravity Balance, Avon's Red, Tomb Page Flip. And some decent Tomb cards here. I don't even know where to start for uh, building a Tomb deck, so I'm not even sure uh, if we even have anything worth using for one. Royal Straight Slasher, not sure if that's worth anything or not. I'll, uh, I'll have to look up prices after this video, and uh, if I see anything that's of uh, decent value, we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, make a video. Uh, we'll edit that into the video. But man, these are, uh, you go, there's five packs that go quick. Can't believe we've almost opened a whole booster box in less than 10 minutes. I mean, we probably won't even hit eight minutes. We're down to three packs now. No Starlight Rare so far. Three packs left, though. We still got a chance. Let's see if we can get there. Come on. Give us a Starlight. Clockwork Knight. I think that had some value to it. It's a reprint or not, I'm not sure. Battle. Blackwing. Token Collector. Shit, I, I might even miss... And there's Double Mammoth. I might even miss some of the regular ultras that are that hold a little bit of value. All right, this is last pack. Can we get some last pack magic here? Come on, give us the Exodia head. All right, we got a Fusion Destiny. Did we pull that one already? Yeah, that's what I thought. We started the box with a Fusion Destiny, and we ended it with a Fusion Destiny. How fitting. All right, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. I do plan on opening some more of this set because I do want to pull some of those Starlight Rares. Uh, so if you want to stick around and watch some of those openings, like this video, comment down below. Do you think we're going to pull that full Exodia set or not? And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Stay safe out there. This winter storm looks like it's going to be pretty nasty. So please be careful, everyone, and happy holidays. Merry Christmas and all that. Pokemon Ninja out.